Hi, I'm Brian Gluckstein, interior designer. I own a firm called Gluckstein Design in Toronto, Canada. But I find a monochromatic space to be a calm space. In this beachfront home in Palm Beach that we're at, it was about being this relaxing, calm, peaceful environment. One of the elements of our work is color. It starts early in the beginning. When we're designing the house, when we're working on the new construction or the renovation, we really want to have a vision. What is the color of the paneling? What are the colors of the wood floors or the stone floors or the tiles? So we want to have a vision of the color that often goes through the entire environment from the architecture right through to the furniture, the wall coverings, the paints, the art. I also like to have unexpected use of color. You know, traditionally everyone painted their doors white and the trim white. Well, we are a little bolder than that. In the environment I'm in now, a relatively monochromatic scheme and layers of creams with accents of green, the doors are all lacquered black. Now, in my book, um, the Art of Home, I have one area called the Art of the Monochromatic Space. I love monochromatic spaces where we choose a color that goes through all the rooms. We've got these cream walls and different textures. We brought in pops of color and the tiger prints. Now the tone could change. It might be darker and lighter as we go through or the accents may change. But what we like try to find is a thread that connects all those rooms. What is so important visually is the textures because when we're working in monochromatic spaces the visual interest comes from all these contrasting textures whether it's the carpeting, the textures on the walls, the upholstery, the drapes and that's what makes these spaces successful. <music>